Hey guys, what's up today? Oh, I'm really excited about this. So we're going to talk about the Canon EOS R. Woo! I recently attended the Canon EOS R product launch in Bangalore and it was a two hours long presentation. The people at Canon kept on talking about everything. And I got to try out the Canon EOS R camera, but I couldn't get a complete experience of it. I called up my friends at Photo Circle and told them, let me know when you get the Canon EOS R camera. I would love to test it. So a week later, they call me up and tell me, we've got the camera, come test it. Packed my bag, headed to the stores and checked out the camera. So this video is going to be divided into two parts. The first one, the technical side, and the second part of the video is going to be my first impression. Bear with me, it's going to be a rather long video. So whatever points I'm mentioning right now, it's going to be taken from the product launch itself. So I've not gone through any of the blog and taken it down. It's whatever Canon has said at the product launch. These are the same points I'm going to be putting it forward to you in from my perspective. So let's get to the technical aspects. Getting into the technical aspect of this camera, you may ask me now, hey Diablin, where does this come in the Canon lineup? Well, it comes below the 1DX Mark II and above the Canon 5D Mark IV. Is this camera a mirrorless camera? Absolutely yes. This camera is a full frame mirrorless camera. Getting to the sensor side, this camera has a 30 megapixel sensor. Coming to the sensor, the camera, this camera has a CMOS sensor. So Canon told me something very interesting about the number of focal points. This camera has 5,655 focal points. Other interesting things of this camera, it has a flip out screen. It has a touch, it's a touch screen. And the real interesting part of this camera is the control ring. So the control ring allows you to program the camera, control the ISO, F-stop or shutter speed. Another interesting feature that Canon told me about was the ease of use. They say that this camera is very easy to use. If you've been using any other camera or if you're new to the Canon mirrorless cameras, using this camera is going to be very easy and finding stuff in this camera, it's going to be really, really easy. I'm not going to say anything more about this. I'll talk to you more about this ease of use in the next part of my video. Canon, Canon told in the conference that this camera has an autofocus speed of 0.05 seconds. I've used the camera Changing focus from one subject to another will just take you 0.05 seconds. So coming to the lens mount and the lens for the Canon EOS R. Canon has changed the lens mount for the, for the mirrorless lineup. It comes with the RF mount. Canon has created a new lens mount for the cameras. That is the RF mount. 4mm lens mount which supports a new range of lens called the RF range of lens for the Canon mirrorless cameras. So talking to you more about this lens and what the, how the lens feels, again is going to come in the second part of the video. And we're staying away from the crowd and under the lights. So heading to my favorite part, the first impression. The time I had to play with the camera, what I felt with the camera, what I liked in the camera, what I didn't like in the camera. What I really liked in the camera. Well, what I liked in this camera is that the ease of use. It is really, really easy to use. I like most of you who know me know that I'm a Sony user. I really, I only shoot my videos on the Sony Alpha line. So being a Sony user, using the US R, it was not difficult at all. This is my honest opinion. I got the camera in my hand, just had a glance at the camera, ran through the menu settings, found the options that I wanted, and I started using the camera. It took me, I think, around 10 minutes to get used to the camera, to get some basic pictures, videos out. So I'm not talking about doing actual shoots on it, but just for a basic setup to take some pictures and get some videos, it took me roughly just 10 minutes to get set up with the camera. So coming to the weight of the camera, well, the camera is very light, but together with the lens, it's really, really heavy. 
So I've I've used the camera and the weight of the camera is somewhere around 660 grams or something with battery. The lenses for the camera are much more heavier than the camera. So the lens I was using with the camera was really really heavy. The lens was more heavier than the camera. So coming to the picture quality, the picture quality I shot all the pictures in RAW. So coming to the color, colors from the Canon EOS R camera without editing were really really nice. I really like the colors especially when I took few pictures of people, the colors really stood out and I was really happy with the colors I got from the image. So what are my thoughts about the camera? The colors from this camera is really really great. It has a flip out screen and I'm a huge fan of flip out screens. Still though I'm a Sony user and I don't have the option of a flip out screen but this camera gives me a lot of flexibility with the flip out screen. So I don't need to do weird stuff to make sure that I'm in frame and the camera is recording. So the big plus points for me are that the flip screen, focusing on this camera is just like a snap of a finger and the focus is changed to the new point. It's really, really fast. Canon has done an amazing job with this camera. They've packed in a lot of features, a lot of new technology they've put into the camera like the control rings, the multifunction bar. If you're an existing Canon user, you have the flexibility to use your old lenses. You don't have to throw away those lenses. You can still use it with the Canon EOS R camera. Well, coming to the battery life of this camera. So the battery life is pretty good. I've shot a lot of footage and the battery didn't drain out that much. Well, I had a short period of time to capture content and play around with the camera, but still I've shot a lot, roughly 300 pictures and videos. The battery life was still there. So another interesting part of this camera is that you can use the battery pack which you regularly use on your 1DX, plug it into your camera and you can continue using it. So it gives you a more extended battery life. The only downside is that Canon has removed the dual memory card slots and it comes with a single memory card slot. Why do you need two memory card slots? Use the UHS class two memory cards, they are reliable. The downside of this camera is that they don't have a five axis image stabilization. In this, in this era of mirrorless cameras, I think five axis image stabilization is a real must. This, these are my thoughts of the Canon EOS R camera. I'll see you again next I'll see you again next week. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.